Hey, I'm Tim. Hey, I'm Melissa, and we're here at the Promethean for the end of your raid party. A bunch of rad bands are playing, including the Valkyries, Angels of Gung Ho, Chapman Street, Lemurian, and Encarta. And we're starting off with New Circuits, otherwise known as the raid theme by... Lemurian. So, let's get into it. What do we love about Adelaide? Lemurians from Adelaide. Yeah, Lemurians from Adelaide. Our band is from this city. The beautiful trees and the real quality seafood. Light Square. Light Square is actually really good. Like uh, the Statue of Light. Colonel Light, Pointing Man, he's a great dude. It's not in Light Square, Matthew. I know it's not in Light Square, but like, Light Square was named after the guy who was pointing. He was pointing at Light Square, wasn't he? Something like that. Just pointing at the uh, township of Adelaide. I like, I like the pigs in the mall. Yeah, the pigs in the mall, they're pretty cool. Lots of stone plastic statues that... Very nice, very nice. I think the northern suburbs of Adelaide are very good. Um, I like the southern suburbs myself. Well, it's pretty awesome that there's a lot of new bars opening up. Down on Lee Street and Peel Street. Yeah, it's um, starting to feel a little bit, little bit more alive and uh, a few more places to go. I love the beaches in the summer. Coming from Melbourne, it gets very hot in Melbourne in the summer, so I love to come to Adelaide. I love to go to Brighton Beach, swim at Brighton Beach, and then go to the bakery there. It's good. I love the beaches. We're from Alice Springs, there's no beach there. Yep. Uh, love, love the chicks in their bikinis. Uh, it's always good fun. I love that pretty much you can go out anywhere and you're going to run into the people you know. I love that everyone knows each other. I love that everyone is um, kind of connected in some way. Everyone, everyone seems to just get along. It's a really kind of friendly kind of place to be, I guess. You can find really talented people just living across the road. March! <laughs> March. Pull up March. March, it's March. Cool. Fringe. Fringe, it's all good. Best thing about Adelaide. Nice and warm, festive. You like the party.
Peter, I'm Max Savage from Max Savage and the False Idols. I'm Tom Begg from Holographic Charizard. This is Pigsy from Full Frontal Lobotomy. I'm Jose from the Bison Science. I'm Josh uh, from These Wild Animals. My name's Mario and uh, I front the Kill Girls and Bad Cop. I'm Rachel from Rachel Cairns and the Valkyries. Hey, Whistling Makes Waves. Hi, I'm Tara and the Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Eddie from Oslo. I'm Russ. I'm Stevic. We're from 12 for Ninja. Hi, Red. This is us. Fuck it. Hi, we're, we're Coops and the Bird. bird. I'm Emily Lubitz. Yeah, you say hi, I'm Travis. Hey, I'm Dusty. Dusty. He's facing something. You say you're a nurse. I'm with it. I'm Travis from Mangs and Gung Ho. And I'm Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. We're ready. I'm Travis from Mangs and Gung Ho. And I'm Dusty from Mangs and Gung Ho as well. We're from the, the Beards. Beards. <laughs> we are Emperor and you're watching Reed. You're watching Raid. You're watching Raid. 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 You're watching Raid. Raid. You're watching Raid. Well, at the moment, yeah, the Valkyries, yeah. Yeah, that's why we're here tonight. So, it's our favourite band at the moment. You know, we're, we're all mates, and it's and it's a really good thing. You know, um, you don't play in a band in Adelaide for very long, and, and before you you know most other people in bands in Adelaide, and um, that was something that um, you know that I've seen a couple of times playing with interstate acts that will come in and go, oh, are you guys mates with the other support? And it's like, yeah, of course. We, we go back way back. It's it's really good. The Adelaide scene is, um, I think, is quite diverse. There's a lot of hidden talent that goes on around Adelaide, um, and I think there's a lot of a lot of really, really good bands and good musicians. You know, it's a little hidden secret this place. I love seeing heaps of bands, whether it be hip hop or funk or anything to do with this live. This is what I love. I like its diversity, and I like the fact there are loads of cool venues here, um, everywhere from here to the Grey Assembly and other little places and hidden away and that kind of thing. And there's always some interesting music going on, and I like, yeah, there's everything from folk to to rock and everything. It's good. There are so many, there's so many great undiscovered bands here. Like you go and see, you go and see. Um, the, the, you just don't know what you're going to expect. You go out of this club and, or a bar or something, and and you just see something you've never seen in your life. Music scene is great, it's awesome. Love it, love it. The Grey Assembly on a Monday night is just, uh, I can't even explain it. Well, we got some good things happening here in Adelaide, pretty stoked to be a part of it, really. Adelaide's music scene, I, I really like the fact that there's some really good bands. There's loads of really, really good bands. We have a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of talent. Good bands like God, God Damn It, Damn It, um, Horror, my friend, Spark Spitter, even tooting this guy's horn. The Transatlantics. Um, I like the amazing drumming monkeys. The Jungle City. Um, they come from Alice as well, some of them. Yeah. The guys that are kicking the goals are the, are the dudes like uh, 
Uh, Shailen Afronauts and uh, Ross McHenry, they're fucking kicking some goals. Be the beards. It's, it's got to be, be the beards. Beard. Right, so I need my this needs guy. work. This guy, he, he's, <laughs> he hasn't been quite hit puberty yet, so. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I knew you would like it. I, I cannot like it. Oh, that there's always somewhere that you can go to see some live music in Adelaide. When you go to Adelaide, there is this. I find there's more of an appreciation and interest in whatever it is you're doing, whether it be on the street or whether it be at a, at a venue. You know, it's like when you do actually put on the show at the venue. Well, from the amount of promotion work you do, there, there tends to be more people coming, and when they do come, they're not like standing at the back of the room. You know, they're like, they're up the front and they're like eager as shit. I feel very comfortable playing in front of um, the people at the venues and um, they're very enthusiastic. We always have a good gig every time we come to Adelaide. Yeah, a lot of other places people are a bit more standoffish when you play, you know, like they're kind of sussing out, going, all right, what's this? But Adelaide crowds just seem to very go that little bit extra further and, you know, go a bit crazy and jump around. Every time I come home, I go and I see a new band from here and I'm just excited by what I hear. Every time I, every, every time I come back here, I go out and have a drink and there's two cool new bars. It's a great new band and I really dig that stuff. There's a, an existing venue has been refurbished and they got some awesome new gear on tap. Well, there's a new secret event going on. You know, there's, there's, there's so much amazing stuff happening in this town and it's it's not like another big city where everyone just expects that kind of thing to happen. There's a real, people value those kinds of things here. Well, it's, it seems to be like incredibly thriving and active, especially in the last couple of years. Um, I'm probably, you know, I'm not like an expert on it, you know, I'm probably not as involved in it as, as nearly as many people are there. I mean, every time I go and see a band, like just you know, last night I seen Sincere the Grizzly, like kind of constantly blown away by how ridiculously professional and, and amazing some of these bands are. I think there are some really great bands, like really, really good bands on the scene and some, and some really fun gigs going around. Um, and bands that I greatly respect and admire. And there are so many talented, incredible people here, like incredible bands and people who are playing music in Adelaide. It seems small but dedicated. I suppose that's sort of the vibe I'm getting, you know, like we're not playing the biggest shows in the world um, when we come to Adelaide, but that's okay because um, we get a lot of support and um, there's not so much of the sort of like folded arms brigade vibe that you might get in, in other towns in Australia where people are like impressed, you know, like it seems in Adelaide, if they come to the show, they want to be there and they, they want to enjoy a good night and that's awesome. 
from our perspective, I guess the music scene is, you know, it's, it's healthy, it's it's going well, yeah. as well as any other state, I think. You know, if we could bandy together and support each other, that would be good. But just like the other states, there's not really enough bands that sing about beards. Uh, my favourite Adelaide band is probably in Carter. Was Colonel Colonel now in Carter? Carter, I'd say. And Carter are really cool.
It's all happening, a lot of great bands. We're gonna get to a bunch of great bands and some great DJs getting together. A bunch of great bands getting together to celebrate Ray and all the beauty that is Ray. Hey, I'm Callum's mum. I had to do that. Oh. So, awesomeness. Let's, let's get into it. I thought you were gonna take that on your own. The beards. Is that back rolling? Are we on again? Yeah. Sick. The beards. Yeah. It's the beards, because I love the beards. I'm growing a beard. I love the beards. Beards. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Bearded gypsies have been doing great things. They're always an absolute killer. 1757. 1757. Get on Heston Drop. We really like Angels of Gung Ho. Uh, Angels of Gung Ho. I like Kaiser. Whoa. God, God, damn it, damn it. And I, I saw Sincerely Grizzly uh, when I was supporting Trailer Dead a couple months ago, and it was an amazing show. And... I've just observed, I've watched bands and listened to bands that I love in Australia. You have to be able to, I guess, communicate, you know. If you've got kind of similar things going on, then you could probably make music together. You can, you can rely on just putting it online and hoping that people find it, but I think playing live is, you know, it's really forcing people to, to be exposed to it. When we, um, when we got this, um, the Southern Cross deal with Channel 10, then our booking agent first and um, management, everyone was just like, okay, you've got to, you've done the major city thing, you've been working that, now is the time to do, start adding other areas. For instance, the Beards who are now doing it really successfully, I mean, they spent their first year very poor, do you know, like, just touring. If you're, in a, if you're a musician and you want people to come to your shows, you just need to work real hard. And you've got to be there and just treat your audience like, audiences like they're gods and, and make sure you've got cool free shit for them and you're making yourself exciting for them all the time. Firstly, get a job because you're going to need a lot of money in order to, to be part of a successful band and it might not work out and you need the rest of your life to, to keep going on and you just need to try and balance all that and work really hard and tour as much as you can and put all the legwork in and play all of the first crummy shows in a new town where like 15 people turn up and then come back and do it again and hopefully there are 50 and then the next time maybe you've doubled that and there is no secret it's I think really just a combination of loving what you do not giving a shit what anyone else thinks working really hard and a bit of luck I need to get a lot off my chest, I don't even know where to begin. I was born in a small forest to a family of wolves after my parents left me. It was a strange childhood. 